us. Within us. Now say it with some authority. Now that you know what it is, say it like you mean it. The power, the power of the world. Of the world. Within us. Within us. Some of y'all have your seat. Let's work it out. Let's work it out. Let's work it out. Amen. 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 So in John, the first chapter, in the first verse, John gives us a New Testament revelation of the beginning. When he says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then he summarizes the Old Testament account of the creation by saying, all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. <laughs> In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. When you make up in your mind, your light gon' shine. Darkness can't do nothing but ah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's good. If God says, let there be, so becomes whatever he says. Because the creative power of God is hinged in the integrity of what he speaks. And God is a God who cannot he cannot lie because there is so much power in whatever he says it becomes and God is always cognizant of what he speaks because he realizes that what he speaks comes to pass if you would just tap in let me jump to the end of my message just to drop my nugget in if you would just tap into the power that's within your tongue you will be more cognizant about what you say because you realize that what you say the power within it makes it come to pass. Because when God gave us power, he gave us power to speak life and death. So you can't, you can't control it. The only way you can control it is by not speaking it at all. And I'm fixing it inside. He could not die. Death was hovering over him the whole while, but death could not touch him because he was still speaking. y'all would get that. Jesus had seven words to say, so death couldn't take him, because as long as he was speaking, there was still life. And life was in his tongue, and in him was the key to eternal life, but he could not die, and it was when he said that it is finished, because he spoke it, he gave up the ghost. Uh 
covenant two immutable things. Mm -hmm. We're moving on. God gave us a warranty. All right. Now, y'all ought to get real excited about that because some of y'all don't buy stuff unless it comes right. with a warranty. Uh -huh. So the next time trouble hits you, you can say, oh, no, baby, I I'm coming right on out of this thing here because I got a warranty. Realize that things going to be all right. We don't even mind if stuff break when we got a warranty. In fact, we dare it to mess up because we're going to pack it up in our car, ride it back up to the place and say, I paid my good money for this. And I know it's covered under warranty. Well, I did my good dancing for this. I, I did my good snot and crying for this relationship. And this thing has got to work. I know you covered it under warranty. Christ, Christ, Christ was God's warranty to us. His guarantee that you would escape.
down, the Bible records, and he began to swat away at the vultures. And some of you have been spinning your wheels, doing so much swatting, and all you got to do is stand still and see the salvation. Open up your mouth and stop being distracted with all this swatting at this and swatting at that and trying to move the devil here. Stand still in your power that's within you and spring to the situation. Thank you. 